In the first one, we the parent sells to the subsidiary and the subsidiary still has it. Okay, so we need controlling share of consolidated income. So we're going to start with parent separate income for the two years. Okay, parent owns 90% of the subsidiary, so they get 9% of the subsidiary's income each year. And in the year of sale, okay, we're going to defer that gain on the sale land, so that's going to be a subtraction. Okay, no effect the second year because it's not a depreciable asset. Okay. So in 1B, what is the non-controlling interest share? The non-controlling interest share is just 10% of the subsidiary's income because it's downstream. No, the 10,000 doesn't affect, okay? But then part two, okay, we're going upstream, okay? So parents' separate income, okay, what we own of the subsidiary's income, and now we're gonna take out 90% of that gain of land, okay, because it's upstream, and that means for the non-controlling people, they get 10% of the subsidiary's income, less 10% of that gain that we had to defer in the first year. No effect in the second. Upstream or downstream? Does that make sense? 